Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. This is going to be a how to get started with the Hunter Classic. If you're new to the game, now that it's free to play, more than welcome to jump in, download it, get started, but you can get kind of overwhelmed. And there's a lot of things to look at, a lot of things to buy, a lot of this, a lot of that, and you know what? It's really easy to get... Um, overwhelmed at first. What do I do first? Where do I go? What do I need to get? How do I get money and, and all that good stuff? Well, to get started, you're going to start off with the 243. You're going to get started with the single barrel shotgun and you're going to get a doe bleed. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Not a whole lot to work with. I, I'm trying to remember, I've had the game for quite a while, I mean for, for years, been playing for years, so I have a lot of stuff. You're going to look at all the bundles, oh, okay, but I want this, and I want that, I want this, I want this one, and, and I got to get, I got to have a Jeep, and I, I got to have this, and I, settle down, it'll be okay. <laughs> Take a look at what animals are there. You can start off by going to single player game, and just scroll down. You can either click here and it's going to go to the first reserve and this is a White Heart Island and if you mouse over it here or you mouse over the lodge which is the house symbol it's going to tell you what's available there. You're going to find Roosevelt elk, blacktail, deer, turkey, and coyotes but you'll also see ranges. There's a single rise clay shooting range so you can go there with your shotgun and basically what it says, you have a clay pigeon range. You can shoot those. It does not use any of your ammo, so you're not going to waste your shells. As long as you're on the range portion of it, you're going to be able to shoot as much as you want to. And just like this also has a pistol range. Just because it says pistol doesn't mean you can't use a rifle or a bow or whatever else there. So go to the pistol range get used to the weapon, loading, reloading, aiming points. There is a little bit of ballistic drop and there's a decay in damage over distance as well. So going to the shooting range is a good way to get started. But again, you mouse over. Okay, this one's got a rifle range, white-tailed deer, Roosevelt elk, coyote, and bobcat. So just because it's on the same reserve doesn't mean you're going to get the same thing everywhere. And this particular one, you've got the main island here. You have a little place that you can actually, I could zoom in here, a little land bridge that connects the two islands. And you could walk between the two. So you could start here and walk all the way over here and all the way over here and all the way up to there. Um, for myself, this is where I usually walk to for a turkey, is this stand right here. And each map has its own little sweet spots as well. But let's take a look at the next one, which is going to be Logger's Point. This, for the longest time, was the only map you really had when you first started off and you were free to play, so to speak. You've got a lodge here, and that has... If we click on this one, you can see we have Mule Deer, Pheasant, Feral Hog, Coyote, and Bobcat with a bow range. The other one is a double rise clay, so two pigeons, will, you know, clay pigeons will come out at the same time. And then you have a rifle range. Now, icons you're going to notice on here, these are towers that are set up that are just default game towers. You can go to them, use them all you want to. They're awesome. Okay, this icon here, I've got a tent set up. If I scroll in, it's kind of hard to see, but I have a shooting mat laid down there. And I have a target laid down here. I made my own custom shooting range. So I can go out there, and I've got this one set out at um, 900, almost 1,000 uh, feet. This campfire icon is um, an area you can go to and just check out an observation area. You can see there's a lot of different um, hunting um, preserves, or reserves, preserves, yeah, you know, fruit preserve, right? Um, so yeah, quickly go through uh, Settlers Creek, right there next to Loggers Point. Uh, again, you can mouse over here and it'll tell you what's there. 
Um, essentially, figure out what you want to hunt. You can resize this if you want to. Um, decide, okay, I want to hunt this or I want, I want to hunt that. Figure out what it is you're trying to hunt. Red Feather Falls. Again, you got your starting lodge. I've also got a tent set up. This tower here is a different icon. This is a deployable hunting tower that I, I put out myself. It takes 24 hours of real time. If I put it down now, then tomorrow I can come back and it'll be up. So it takes 24 hours of real time for this one to be set up. There are others that you can set them up and they're instant. So there's different ways you can set up towers and blinds and so forth. Setting up a tent now gives me an area to spawn. Now, I know that for this particular map, you got these two lodges here, but this is my hot spot for moose and black-tailed deer and black bear. Even though if I mouse over here, black bear, elk, black tail, and white tail. But if I start from here, white tail and moose. If I want to go after Roosevelt elk, then I know for a fact that this area right in here is really a good hot spot for elk. Anywhere pretty much in this, this main region. But I've killed a ton of elk in this area here. This is primarily moose, black bear, and you know, black tails. Um, you may find your own hot spot. This just happens to be my favorite spot for this particular map. So what I do is I put a tent there. So before getting carried away with uh, what I want to hunt, if you want to figure out what you can kill ethically and get your points wise, you can't remember, go to weapons if you wish. You know you have rifles. Okay, I've got an AR-15, and I've got um, the 9.3 by 74. And you scroll through until you find your rifle that you you have, which is a 243, and I know that it's going to be on the very bottom. A lot of cool guns in here. Yes, I have all the World War II rifles. There's a Mosin Nagant, an Enfield, a 03 Springfield, and a Mauser. We've got them all. But you can scroll all the way down, and there it is. It says I own five of them. Long story short, um, every time you bought a new season pass in the past, whenever it was that way, you got that rifle free. So I have five of them. So I've bought five season passes. That's one of my most widely used rifles there. But, okay, 243. Now, you can click on it, and you'll see here that, okay, there's the rifle. Um for some reason if you don't have it then you can get it pretty quickly um, tells what scopes are available for it and I believe it comes with a 4x32 scope what kind of ammo you can buy for it and then right here it's permitted for ibex, fox, big orange sheep black tailed deer, typical and non-typical bobcats, nice to know coyote, doll sheep, lynx, rabbit no, no rabbit, sorry um, feral goats, fun to shoot, um, gray wolf, mule deer, fox, red kangaroo, roe deer, rusa, sitka, and white-tailed deer. So there's not a hell of a lot you can hunt with it. And that limits to where you can go and what you can hunt right now because of having only one rifle. Another way to find out this is to actually, instead of under weapons, go to ammo. And you know that your ammo is 243. There we go. Click on the ammo. It's going to tell you the same information right here, what you can and cannot shoot with it, and what other rifles it'll be suitable in. I just happen to have that one. <coughs> I think this is the new one you get now. I don't know. Um, that's just the one that I've got. Now, you also have a shotgun. Lots of pretty shotguns. And yes, I have this one. You used to not be able to buy it. This is only a reward for um, if you have the Hunter Primal, which is the dinosaur version of this game. Not as much fun as you would think. Um, you're going to have one of these. And I, I don't know how, but I have two of them. You can't sell them once you already have them, but it costs zero EM. 
click on it there and it's going to show you that you can use birdshot, buckshot, and slugs and what each one of them are for. Now, you can kill pretty much everything in the game with a 12 gauge shotgun except for a few examples. The Bantang, or Bantang, which is a large cow-like animal. You cannot, you got an X across the board there, you cannot kill them. You cannot kill bison. And you cannot kill werewolves. And no water buffaloes. The only thing you can use for werewolf is during the Halloween event and with a specific pistol or crossbow pistol with specific ammo for each. So, we'll worry about that whenever the, uh, the season is upon us, which is coming up soon. So with your 12 gauge single shot shotgun, it is not great. There's no optics, no scopes or anything you can put on it. It's one shot, reload, one shot, reload. Well, I want to hunt moose. Yes, moose. Big old mooseies. But I also want to be able to kill a blacktail. Okay, well, I can kill blacktail with a slug. Um, what about moose? Well, I can kill a moose with a slug. What about deer? Yes, no problem. What about Roosevelt elk? Yes. So I can use the slugs on those. What about black bear? Yes, so I can use the slug now for pretty much everything that I'm going to encounter on the map that I'm getting ready to go into, which is going to be Red Feather Falls. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to only have this shotgun right here um, because in theory, the map that I'm going to go on to, I'm not going to be able to kill anything. No black bear. I can kill the black-tailed deer, so I'll carry it just for the black-tailed deer. So I'll carry the 243 and the single barrel shotgun and just the one call. Now that's going to break my heart. Well, what do I buy first? How do I get monies? Okay, to be able to start getting money, EM is a premium currency. Get EM and you can buy it. Basically, it's a, you know, $1 per hundred at this rate. $5 will get you 500 or $44 will get you 5000 I normally buy 3000 at a time. I usually do that maybe once a week because there's always something cool that I want to buy. So, do I... Well, it's a free-to-play game. I don't want to have to give them any monies. Well, why not? They made a hell of a cool game. They deserve to get paid, right? But if you want to buy stuff and you don't want to spend money, you're going to earn GM for making kills and harvesting ethical kills and and in your animals so you're going to get paid for for hunting essentially but check out the missions there are tons of them i have 54 active and you can look down here keep scrolling down oh wait and i can do that harvest water buffaloes and i'll get 300 gm all right so white-tailed deer mission you can select that, scroll down, and see what you can get. Um, all these missions activate as many as as you can find. Activate all of the ones under available. Activate them all. Don't question it. Just do it. Black bear missions. I know there's a green black bear on the map that I'm going to. Harvest a black bear using the... Scoring at least 18 using the 300 rifle. Some of these are going to require you to have premium equipment. So don't let that be a problem because you're going to get enough GM by the time you're down this far into that to where you can afford to buy it. The 300 um, rifle or 300 Win Mag rifle, the black one that I pointed out, is going to be by far was one of my most widely used rifles that I've had for a long time. Now that I've got the 9.3 by 74R over and under, that is my top pick because it'll it's like cheat mode. You can use it on roe deer and water buffalo. I mean, and pretty much everything in between. Just no birds and no kitty cats and doggies. But if I carried my 300 and I killed a black bear and then another one and then another one, if I kill all three of these, then I get 800 GM. That's a good little leg up. But I'm not carrying a 300 with me, so I'm not going to be able to complete that mission. Then what about your 
black-tailed deer. White-tailed mule, Roosevelt elk. I've already completed this one, so if I do see any of them, it's not going to matter. I've already got them all done. The moose missions. Yeah, boy. I've finished a lot of these. You can actually, when you get to a certain point, you can reset them. You don't have to pay EM to reset it. But it, if you've already completed all of them, you can reset it and get paid all over again. So you can get hundreds of thousands of GM to buy all the cool gear you want. Blacktail, make it nice. 800 GM, harvest a male with a cap lock muzzleloader. Again, a premium weapon that I'm not going to be carrying in this one, so it's not going to matter. And moose, I don't have to worry about that because I've already completed all those. Um, I'm not going to be able to complete any of them at this point, so we're just going to go ahead and go into a hunt. Go to single player game or multiplayer game. We're going to do single player. And we're going to do uh, red feather. I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to go to my tent. And I'll explain why. Because I know that this is a prime spot. Well, and... Yeah, it's a prime spot. For other stuff. But... Let's see, white tail. That's going to be black tail. I know this is a great spot for elk. And this is going to be a great spot for moose and blacktail. So I'm going to go ahead and start there. One of the early things you're going to want to pick up is going to be the tent. I know you're going to want to get all the cool clothing and weapons and everything else. But to get started with, get a tent. It's going to be in large equipment, tents. There's a bunch of different types. And you can see 9,350 GM. If you're not going to be buying EM, which I suggest go ahead and buy some whatever you can. But if you just can't, for whatever reasons, save up 9350 and go ahead and get a tent. I personally, this is the one that I have on that map. I like it because it's visible. I can see it if I'm trying to get back to it. Um, but you can go camo if you like. The only ones I'm missing is the, uh, the white one here of these and these two. I got the trapper tent on one of the maps just because I've got the uh, the beefalo bark clothing, you know, the, the old trapper clothing. So a good tent is going to be, and it doesn't matter if it's this one or this one, they're going to be the same thing. Um, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to give you that spawn point. You know that you've got a really great spot to harvest the crap out of animals. Get a tent. Collars, very important. Um, if you're going to start off with anything, like if moose is your thing, you want to go after moose or elk or whatever, pick your species of what you want to go as your primary and then get your collars for that. Deer grunt call, a good one to have if you're going to go after whitetail, blacktail, or mule deer. Um, wait until later for geese and ducks. Because that's more of an investment, because you got a lot more going on than just buying a couple collars and thinking you can shoot them from the ground. Just not going to happen. Um, moose collar, very important to have. Hog squealer, you're going to kill tons of hogs, depending on which map you're on. But pick a species that you really want to specialize in and go after them. See, I've got my deer grunt and deer bleat. I've got the majority of these. If you want to go after elk, even though this says wolf, elk, calf, I use this one for, um, I don't know why that's there. That's a different deer grunt call than what I already have. Um, but yeah, I use this one along with um, the actual elk caller, or elk bugler. Uh, combine the two together makes for a really good um, combo for going after elk. Especially doing the missions. By the time you finish doing the elk missions, please, you're going to be good to go. So let's actually get into a hunt. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to load up. Screen's going to go black for a few minutes until the game actually comes up. 
so don't let that confuse you but a tent is very important so you can set it up in your primary kill zone depending on what you're going for if you want to go after elk then I would say you know, check with me on my discord channel and I'll be able to point you in the right direction um, can even do a multiplayer and take you on the hunt and show you the best way and best spots and everything else that I know of um, if you want to go after elk then the first thing you need to do is pick up this guy it's 2720 GM you're going to be able to pick up that in a few hunts it's not going to take you long to get that much uh, GM put together so first rifle to buy if you're going to buy a rifle oh, I want the AR-15 it's cool trust me I, I like using it I'm going to recommend one particular rifle that's going to be your mainstay and that's going to be the 9.3x74R this is a must have rifle the 1020 or 10,200 GM it's worth buying uh, other than that I would say and this is 11,050 it's more expensive but as you saw it's going to be necessary for some of the missions uh, but that 300 bolt action rifle has been my mainstay I've got 270 30 out 6 30 30s Mausers I got military weapons 223 bolt actions I, I got an air rifle another 30 30 7 millimeter mag bullpup rifle I've got um, the Enfield um, I still need to buy a 22 rifle I don't have it yet I got 22 air gun and it does the same for me uh, of course I've got the Buffalo rifle and the associated scope for that um, yeah, I mean I I see something and I work towards it and I get it um, but this guy for the most part has been my mainstay because as you can see there's a lot of green check marks right here and the only things you can't kill is duck, fox, bobcat, goose, rabbit, lynx, rabbit that's the duck, gadwall, um, magpie goose, mallard, pintail, pheasant, red fox, red ptarmigan, snowshoe hare, turkey, werewolf, ptarmigan, and ptarmigan. So pretty much no birds at all, and no kitty cats, and no doggies. Um, except well you can kill a gray wolf with it so you can see there's a lot of check marks right there so this is going to be a must-have rifle and I recommend this scope if you can go ahead and afford that one also I use both and I use it without a scope as well and this one is gonna be a long-range scope you're gonna find this scope useful with a 7 mag or if you get the combo rifle here, this is a special rifle. Um, yes, there's a candy cane barreled Christmas rifle. Your 9.3, 4570, 223, 300 bolt action rifle. You can put this on a lot of different rifles. And this is going to be your, your long range. This is going to be your goat gun, your long range pig gun. This is going to be your fun scope and using that rifle without the scope is going to be your close range pigs buffalo water buffalo bantang dangerous game stuff so that's going to give you the versatility handguns um, very handy but you need to worry about getting your inventory space or capability you need to increase that also as you're going pretty important um, handgun wise I've got most of them 10 millimeter I love that 10 millimeter semi-automatic pistol because I'm a 1911 nerd um, I, but I love it with that red dot scope that you can put on there for deer hunting absolutely love it this is going to be my next pistol that I buy but I got a scope I need to buy before I've got two of the 454 revolvers I don't know why um, we've got the El Basante and El Toro. Um, there's a 308 single shot pistol. I've got one of those. 
22 pistol, 44 is 357 Magnum. Uh, there's so many different pistols you can choose from as well. If you're going to want to do a handgun hunt for a smaller game, the 1911, a 10mm semi automatic. And for your big game, either one of the 454s. That's going to cover you pretty well. Clothing. There's going to be some clothing. Yes, I have a 10 year anniversary jacket. Been around that long. Um, the Arctic winter. There's some maps that are covered in snow where you're going to need that because you will freeze and die. Um, if you're going to hunt in hot and tropical areas, then the sneaky 3D tropical. You're going to need to wear that or strip down basically naked, which is what I'm going to do whenever I get into the, the map here in just a second. Um, so you're going to have to check the map based off of the climate there. This map... Oh, would you quit going back to that one? Um, Red Feather Falls. Thank you. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to try to target towards the blacktail deer that's on this side. But I'm only really going to work this area here. This little finger island with the little tiny ones on it. And here. And right around this area right here. And I can do quite well for a hunt in just that one little small area. And I'll show you my deployable hunting stand. So we're going to go ahead and hit start game. You can change your start time. I like 7 o'clock, anything other than that, and you start getting some weird, you know, not weird, but um, environmental effects like fog and early, early morning at 5 a.m. Um, the game doesn't really seem to mind the difference between 3 o'clock in the afternoon and 5.30 in the morning for the population of the animals. So, again, you're going to see um, black screen for just a second while I'm transitioning into the game. You better work. Sometimes my recording software just says, you know what, screw you. I know you just played this game. Oh, okay, there we go. We're good. But we're just going to lose all your settings for everything anyway. We don't care. So, the Hunter Classic. We're actually going to get into a hunt now. The first thing I'm going to do is, since I'm starting at my tent, it would be the same thing as if you're starting at a lodge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip all my gear off. And I'm going to simulate that I am a newbie. I just play like a noob most of the time. Okay. Nice little light fog still. Early morning. Very pretty scene. This is my favorite starting point. So, I'm going to walk up here to my tent and hit the I key. This is going to open up my inventory screen, and I'm going to hit clear equipment. Pff, everything gone. It's in my my reserve. I didn't lose it. It's still there. <coughs> so, capacity. Now, keep in mind, I've got inventory um, upgrades. I can carry three weapons. I can carry all these slots right here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can carry all those. I can carry large equipment. I got two different dogs. I've got a Jeep. So I can say, okay, I want to carry my tan Jeep. Um, I want one of my two dogs. And got all these collars. But we're going to start with Doblet. Because that's all you guys are going to have when you first start off. Clothing. I don't have anything selected at all. So let's just go ahead and hit resume game. And I don't know if you notice it, but it snapped over and popped me into my default t-shirt, pants, and boots. Which means I can't wear my coonskin cap or my my trapper jacket or anything else or my, my 10 year anniversary jacket. I'm wearing my 10 year anniversary jacket. So I'll cheat a little bit. Weapons. You select a weapon here. I have 243. My ammo. And click here for a scope and the 4x32, which is your starting scope. And then the, uh, the only reason why I'm saying, you know, making terrible noises is I have all these weapons I can use. And I'm going to do, where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. That guy with slugs. 
I'm not going to carry any extra ammo. Uh, I'm not going to carry any other weapons. Ah, screw it. I'm carrying my 1911. I'm a 1911 nerd, and I'm just going to carry it. I don't have a full mag load, but I'm just going to carry it anyway. I'm not going to use it, I promise. So, resume game. Now, we hit the number one key that's going to load my, my primary weapon, which is going to be my 243 with my little cheesy scope. Number two key is going to bring my shotgun up. Number three, my awesomeness. I oh, I love this gun. It's good enough for pigs and deer and stuff like that. Now, hitting tab key will bring back my hunter's mate. You see on there, there's a blinking paw. It tells me that an animal had just called. I heard it also. I know that it's a female moose. And I don't care about female moose. I'm not going to kill a female moose because they are no points. So, now, you notice my stance. Bottom right hand corner. It's going to be my little guy standing up. Get your minds out of the gutter. Um, but I can hit the control key and I can crouch. This is going to be your, your normal method of conveyance. You're going to be in that crouch walk a lot. A lot. That's going to reduce the noise that you make while you're moving, while you're still moving. Now, once I get out of the water, if I try to do it now, I'm not going to be able to do it. You see, it's telling me that I can't go prone right now because I'm in the water. It's just telling me that I can't go prone. But I can stand back up and walk. I can hit the C key, which is default, to sprint. Don't sprint. Not unless you just have to or whatever. Don't sprint. And, like, right now, I'm just standing up to walk because I know there's nothing really close enough to me until I get to the edge of the water and then I'm going to hit the control key and that's going to cause me to crouch again, my left control. And now I can crouch. Always take a moment, look around. Still got a little bit of fog in the morning, so I'm not going to be able to see anything at long distance. But take a look around. Listen. Listen for the sounds of animals calling. When they do call, you'll see it on your hunter's mate, which if you want to bring your hunter's mate back up, just hit the tab key. Now you see it pulled my pistol back out because I that was the last thing I had selected besides hitting tab again for my hunter's mate. If I'm stalking something close and I know that there's a chance that it's going to be one of those things that might kill me, I'm going to get my no-scoped weapon or my close-range weapon and then I'm going to hit tab. Now I can look. If they call, I can right-click with my mouse and it will identify that call. I'll also be looking around. There's going to be mushrooms on the ground and during events, like the Halloween event that's going to be coming up, there might be pumpkins or skulls on the ground that you need to look for and pick up. So you're looking down, looking under your feet, looking around, scanning the distance. I will say one thing I did not mention I don't have it with me because I'm doing just like I mentioned is a pair of binoculars preferably the range finding binoculars they are going to be your absolute best friend for spotting game uh, because like right okay I just heard one call you can see the paw if I left click while the paw is still flashing then I can ID it Oh, well, it's a female black-tailed deer. Hit right-click, which is going to be my back button. I'm not going to kill a doe. I always have my binoculars on the number 9 key. But since I don't have it, I can use my scope for my rifle. I know that there's more than one doe there. When your rifle's out, you're going to have some movement. You guys can see it, but that's the head of a, a doe sticking up right there. And I saw one right there. If you hold your crosshairs on it, and I see one again to the right. See it turned red, then a white outline, and it gave me ID information. Let's see if we can do the same thing on this one right here. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. If there's something obstructing the majority of the animal, it won't give it to you. Oh, you suck. 
All right, you see the information right there, weight and score? Score is zero because it's a female. So I'm going to move along. Deer, white-tailed deer, black-tailed deer, uh, mule deer will not charge you. They will not hurt you. In fact, if you get too close, they're just going to run. Now, I'm going to go to this tripod. There are tripods all around the map. This just happens to be one that I placed down. I'm not going to have much choice. She's walking in the same direction of where I need to go. So, we'll show you what happens when you get too close. I'm crouch walking. That's the quietest that I can get. See, she's dropping half domes because I haven't ID'd her yet. That full dome, the bright red dome that's sticking up out of the water, is from the animal that I have currently selected. So if I get too close to this um, doe, she's going to spook and she's going to run. Sometimes you can get really close. There we go. Now nah, she spooked. So the other one spooked as well. Because she spooked, these two got spooked as well. And they ran off into the woods. Which is fine. I, I, I wasn't going to shoot them anyway. Um, I don't remember how I ended up with these stands. But I ended up with like three or four of these guys. Or, or more. Um, and these are special stands that you can put down. They take 24 hours before before they're able to be used. So once you first put it down, it's just going to be a pile or a couple of pallets of wood and stuff like that. And then over time, it will start going through different changes. And then finally, it'll end up like this, and you can start using it. If you get close enough to it, it'll show like four hours left or however much time it takes for it. It's ready. And now you have a full tripod or a, a, a full elevated stand. A tower. Why do we care about towers? Well, first off, you saw how much sway that I had in my rifle. If I bring my rifle back out again, a lot less sway because we're in a stable environment now. It's simulating that I'm able to brace and I can actually make a more stable shot. So if I'm trying to make a longer range shot, then I have that opportunity to do so because I know that this is going to be more stable. Oh, I really want my binoculars. <laughs> Range finding binoculars are going to be your best friend as well. Um, so that's an early on thing that you're going to want to get. Now there's nothing here. Well, well if there's nothing here that's kind of boring. Well, let's just say real hunting. You spend a hell of a lot more time being bored than you do being ready to shoot and oh there's an animal coming and that preparation like okay um, when it gets to right here I should be in range I can shoot it there you're planning your shots and that kind of stuff yeah there's not a whole lot of that um, in real time real life hunting you may go out for eight hours and not see a damn thing in this this game if you go out for eight hours uh, you can find them there's enough population to game you can find something so, we just had a doe bleat over here. And these are black-tailed deer. Uh, white tail are going to be on the other side of the map. And I see either her or another one. Again, not having binoculars, I can use my rifle scope. Bugs the crap out of one of my buddies that I hunt with uh, in multiplayer here. It, I'll see things before he does. Sometimes he'll see things before I do, but... He's like, how the hell do you know he's there? I'm like, well, first off, it called over there. Oh, I see something awesome. I'll see a bear right there. Now, 243 is not going to work on black bear. This is a male. Male black bears are going to give you a higher score than female black bears. Female will give you points, unlike the, um, the white tails, or the black tails, the deers. I am going to leave the stand, go back in the crouch position. Another thing you can do with your binoculars, especially like the range finding one, is when you aim at something with a range finding, naturally it's going to tell you how far it is. But also with the um, binoculars, you have a little crosshair, and if you left click while you're pointing at an area on the map, it's going to put a little red dot on your map to let you know that 
that's where you aimed. That is a female moose. I heard her call, and I know that it's the sound of a female moose. I'm not going to click on it. I'm not falling for your trash woman. So, I saw a bear over here. So, I'm going to creep up. I don't know, can you guys see the bear? I'll see the bear. 243 is not going to be an ethical shot on the bear. So, all the thing I've got is my shotgun with slugs. That is a female. That is not the same bear that I spotted over here. So, there's two bears. Bears will kill you. <laughs> if you get too close, they will charge you and they will kill you. And if you do not have first aid kits, you are going to have to respawn. Okay, that's the female over there. That's the male over here. I hope that's the male over here. Okay, yeah, that one is a male. Now, if you do get killed, you don't have first aid kits, you can respawn at a lodge. So it's not like it's game over. But if you have a first aid kit, you can respawn right where you were standing and then continue your hunt and hopefully find the thing that killed you and you can kill them. So, as I'm starting to get closer to this bear, I don't want to spook it. So I'm going to stay in my crouch walk position and I'm going to move slowly. I can see the bear, so I don't necessarily need binoculars or a hunter mate or anything else. I'm going to hold this shotgun out. Now, to aim naturally, you right click and it brings it up and you, you can aim. Aiming is absolutely terrible with this shotgun. You'll get used to it until you can upgrade. Oh, what's up, brother? I do appreciate it. Let's see if I can. I'm using the absolute worst gun in the game, a fitted dollar. You know, and realize this this would be like some fitted dollar pawn shop special single shot twelve gauge <laughs> with slugs. This is the worst possible combination of, of firearm that I could have in the game. But since this is what you know, it's a free to download, free to play game. This and the 243 is all you get to get started with. So, trying to like with this being uh, like a, a guide for showing, you know, how to get started with the game and, and not to get overwhelmed and stuff to prove that it can be done. I'm trying to hunt. Yeah, the it is a little bit a little bit strange. And then whenever you, it just seems a little slow to to shoulder. I could probably take that shot. Not yet, though. I want to get a little bit closer. And I know i got a female bear right over there. Shit, and a female moose right over there. <laughs> There's just lots of things in this area that, that can kill me. Okay, I may have to take this shot a little bit sooner than I want to. Um, God, I'm wishing I had some of my main weapons. Old space bar. Uh oh. I don't think he likes that. He's gonna kill me. Oh, he died. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Absolutely gonna get it. Oh, I just shit a little bit though. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear in the, in the audio, but the bear just made this horrible sound, and he was in pose, ready to charge and kill my ass. <laughs> All right, so when you get over to your game, just left click, and I, <laughs> I've seen uh, Jingles play. Of course, he's not the best gamer. He's just funny to watch. Right front leg and right lung. Okay, well, it died quickly. But I lost CSS score because it he didn't instantly die. I instantly shed my pants a little bit, but now I could sell for 85 GM and use that money to help pay for ammo and weapons and accessories and whatnot. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta catch my breath a little bit here. Um... I was talking about doing the missions here in, in this game. 
I, I don't even really, I, I could care less to, to, I don't really want to hunt in real life. I might go do a hog hunt, might do a deer hunt once every 15 years, but uh, I could care less about hunting things in real life. But this game is actually kind of fun, even though I don't like hunting, for the most part. It's just relaxing, and then there's some times where, just like with that bear just now, it was a little bit on the tense side, but doing the missions, like for the moose missions, um, it's kind of like a, a fine line between a simulation and an arcade. You don't have the same kind of ballistic um, drop that you'd have in real life, but you do have some. Uh, you have a little bit of scope sway, and that kind of affects your shooting. And accuracy, though, is still pretty much where the crosshair is aimed. So you do have that going for you. But as you're doing the missions, like, the, say, the, the moose mission, you, the first one might be ID the sound of a or a track. Like, these are these little red dome-looking things that are sticking up out of the water. These are tracks that I have not investigated yet. If I come over here and left-click whenever I hear my hunter may beep, and you see the ID thing is flashing, left-click, yes, bear roaming, I got a circle, so I don't know exactly where it is. But if I look around, that dome right there belongs to another animal completely. If I want to look for whatever I have ID'd right here, then I know that that female bear was over here somewhere. So I have that male and female bear at the same time, and a female moose over there by my tower. Um, when you see a dome that belongs to an animal you're currently tracking, instead of it being that little crescent shaped, it'll be like this right over here, which I'm going to go ahead and stand up, because um, I don't think anything's going to be around for a few minutes because I just fired my gun. So this is a prime example. This one right here, when you look at it from a distance, you can see that it's kind of like an unfilled circle, where this one's a filled one. This being the water, I can't see what it is until I ID it. Um, this one right here, if I were to try to ID it, I'd, it would take me out of the one that I currently have. Um, geographically, well, I can see this deer hoof prints right there. It's kind of mixed. The This map right here is where I am, but this is the entire map. Okay, This is the hunting preserve that I'm on, and right now, while I'm in this hunt, I can only stay within these boundaries. But this is a fictional island that, um, one second, yeah, that has multiple different climates on it. Uh, this hunting preserve up here, I love this one right here too. Right along this edge right here, you've got the, um, Oh yeah, you know, you get to this one right here, you can actually get out here on the ice flows, the uh, ice pack, and you'll find your polar bears out here on the ice pack mostly. Snowshoe hare, um, arctic foxes, things like that are going to be up in this area right here. Um, oh, it's not going to show me all my stuff here because I'm in this hunt in this region, so it's going to show me all my stuff here. This is not going to show you all the lodges and stuff. If you're hunting in this reserve right here, then you're going to have a lodge right up here or here, but you'll have one up here, and then you'll have one way down here. What I've done is go right here to this island in the middle of this little ice pond, and I've put up a tent. I can use my tent as a spawn location when I first go into the, the game. Yeah, it is a really big map. And if you think this hunting reserve that I'm on right now, if I were to walk from here to here, in real time, it'll probably take me about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes of normal walking. So you could spend a lot of time just walking around these maps. That's why I went ahead and put a tent down here. It doesn't hurt that I also bought a Jeep. <laughs> me, Jeeps, I know, right? And... You know, by the Jeep, and you can just drive across here. And I just happen to know that this area right here is a really hot hunting zone. I've hunted here so many different times where instead of walking all the way over here, now that I've got a tent set up, I can spawn there. Yeah, and see, with walking wise, um, 
you spend a lot of your time instead of you know like okay this is a sprint and then this is a normal walk and this is a crouched walk and this is what you actually spend most of your time doing is crouch walking because the crouch walking as I mentioned earlier is going to be the lowest noise movement you can do I can kind of see the red pulsating right here in the grass I know there's a bear prince, but this is the bear that I'm tracking anyway. With this, you've always got to be looking around because I didn't see this female bear. I saw the male bear first, and then it was like, okay, well, here's my bear there, and I ID it again with the rifle scope. Oh, shit, it was a female. So I ended up with two different bear. And so the bear will charge you and kill you. The moose will charge you and kill you. Um... A lot of the big game will. Elk, I don't think will. I think elk will just run away. Uh, I've never been killed by one, at least. <laughs> and I've killed some elk at really close ranges. And just because it's elk. There's Roosevelt elk on this one. There's a different type of elk on a different map. It's like on this map, you've got black-tailed deer and white-tailed deer. Animal behavior is really good. Um... Well, I've kind of proved the point of, of what I was doing with uh, this hunt was to show that... Oh, shit. Crouch. Ah, bear. <laughs> I was say, always got to keep looking. Um, that You can even take that crappy little shotgun and still get a bear kill. Now, with this, that's a female, so that's probably the one we were tracking earlier. I can't shoot her with this rifle because it's a 243. It's too light of a caliber, and it's unethical. It didn't take me long to, to stop dead in my damn tracks, did you? <laughs> Might have got a little bit of skid marks in my 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 bloomers, but uh, yeah. Uh oh, I don't like that. Don't make that noise. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I am. Um, I've deer hunted. I've hog hunted. Yeah, see? Now, let's show the difference here between the score between the, the male bear and the female bear. Um, I've killed a lot of deer. Squirrels, rabbits, birds, um, hogs. I killed a 385-pound hog with a pistol. And see, I just leveled up my shotgun skills, too. That helps. See, 18.7 for the CSS. And 19 GM versus what I got for the other one. Here, you get more points for males than you do for females in the game. Kind of like real life. You're going after more of a trophy. You're looking for the big deer or the big antlers and that kind of stuff. Frickin' water buffalo have got some of the biggest horns that I've seen of any of them in the game. Moose have a big, huge spread. You know, each animal is different, too. Is um, As I'm hunting, like, the white-tailed deer or black-tailed deer here on this, uh, I may see a buck come up, and he may only have four points. And then another buck walks up, and he's got 14. You know, the antlers are going to be different. And this is my tent over here on the island. I'm going to go to the tent, and I'm actually going to gear up. Yeah, male bears are going to be bigger than females. Oh, shit. Um, it's a female moose. And this, whenever you're talking about the, the main quadrupeds, like moose and stuff like that, female moose will yield zero points. Female deer, zero points. The only females you can shoot are going to be birds, um, rabbits, foxes, wolves, things like that. Um, but any of the deer type, the moose or elk or things of that nature, zero points. Um, Bantang, really low points for a female. Um, water buffalo, really low points. Yeah, I just happened to spot that female moose over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. I mean, I'm walking, plus the, the foliage is kind of blocking her a little bit. But I can see she has no horns, so I know that that's a female. So another thing too, I'm just going to walk back over to my tent and re-gear. 
yeah, both both those two bears that I just killed, I, I killed with a single shot with um, the 12 gauge with slugs. This little beater shotgun. <coughs> I have much better guns, by the way. But was kind of proving the point here that with this starter single shot, terrible little shotgun, I was able to stock up and kill two bears, one shot per bear, and do okay with with this. Go bird hunting with it, go after pheasants, turkey, whatever else I can just load bird shot. I can load buckshot and kill some animals. Like I said, with this this sim simple little free starter single barrel shotgun, you can kill all but three of the um, critters on this entire game. Uh, the water buffalo, the bontang, and the werewolf. And naturally, the werewolf is not going to be available until the Halloween event starts. Here in a couple of weeks, they'll do the Halloween event. You'll find skulls out in the woods. You'll find um, pumpkins. and or I think it's skulls for Halloween, pumpkins for Thanksgiving, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, polar bear can be tough. Um, you can't really get as close to the polar bears as you can like these black bears. Um, because they're a lot more aggressive and there's a lot less things to hide behind. So they're going to see you pretty well too. Um, so when you're going after polar bear, that's when you want something that's got a little bit more range and a whole lot more punch. Well, 12 gauge slugs have a lot of freaking punch. So I go back into my inventory, and now that I'm at my tent, I can change to any of my guns that I've got here, or my bows, or black powder, or whatever else. Yes, I did cheat. I carried my 1911 with me, but I didn't use it. Um, Shotgun-wise, I got pump shotguns. I got double barrel shotgun. Um, I got a, the World War II rifles, just as an example. Um, oh yeah, I got all the cool toys. I got a Mosin Nagant. Uh, with the sniper scope. Uh, let's see, how about a World War II German Mauser? One of those. Oh, there's German Mauser. And we'll put the sniper scope on that one. I'm not going to use these right now, but. Um, which I may. I mean, World War II German Mauser. This will take down the moose. I don't know if you caught that, okay? Oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah! Um, I've killed a, a few deer with a forty-four mag revolver. I've hunted rabbits with um, thirty-eight revolvers, twenty-two revolvers. Uh, now you look right there underneath the first part of that scope. That's the safety on a Mauser. Watch what happens whenever he draws it up. He takes the time to flip that safety lever over. That and he puts a safety back on whenever he comes back off from the scope. That's pretty cool. Um, Russian Mosin Nagant 9130 PU sniper. Love it. Uh, let's see. And pistol wise, I've got 44 mag, 357 mag, 308 caliber single shot handgun. The 1911 that I've got right here is 10 millimeter. It's a 22 pistol, 454 Casul, and another 454 here. Um, I'm going to keep my 1911 because I love it and it's great for um, elk and stuff like that and deer. Um, lever action 30 out 6. Yeah, I'll show you my favorite gun of all time now. Besides this one right here, because um, you know, being beef low bard, I gotta have even the right clothing. You know, I can put on my coonskin cap, and instead of my ten-year anniversary jacket, I can put on my trapper jacket and my buckskin pants and moccasin shoes, and even the gloves to go along with it. And I can go all kind of traditional and go with my buffalo rifle. Oh yeah. Um, you're going to have some respectable recoil. Um, well, what about uh, AR-15? Yeah, let's put a scope on that. 
So the Buffalo rifle is a 4570. This is the the gun that murdered the the bison. <laughs> I love this gun. Of course, you know me being Buffalo Bart, the cowboy, and Buffalo Hunter, and that kind of stuff. Single shot, 4570. Love it. But, I'm also an AR-15 guy. So I gotta have an AR-15. And this has got variable zoom to it. But these aren't my favorite for for general purpose use. I love them, don't get me wrong, but my most widely used rifle used to be this one, the 300 bolt action. Yeah, the AR-15 is semi-automatic. Not fully automatic, but it's semi-automatic. So as fast as you can pull the trigger, you'll rip through that magazine ammo pretty quick. Uh, top recommendation for rifles is going to be in this. 9.3 by 62 was another one that I used for quite a while. But, where are you? Right here. 9.3 by 74 r over and under, double barrel rifle, with and without scopes. I've got three scopes, so I'm going to take all, well, two scopes that'll work with it, and then I'll use it with and without scopes to kind of show. Best shotgun that I love using is the standard pump. I'm going to throw a slug in there, a buckshot, a birdshot, and a red dot optic. And let's go ahead and change out the 1911 for 308 single shot with a scope. Yes, um, a double barrel rifle. Uh, and these were common for um, big game hunting because you have two shots. Quick, bang, bang, you can get a, a rapid follow-up shot. But the pump shotgun, the red dot, good for geese. And with the red dot also, it's good for picking off like bears and crap like that. Um, the rifle, as you can see, double barrel, boom, boom. What I'm going after, this will kill everything in the game pretty much. This is like my cheat gun. Without a scope, this is my dangerous game gun. So like I was using that little single barrel shotgun, this is the mode that I use. And it will drop a water buffalo dead in its tracks. But I can also, let's go to the revolver, I'm sorry, the pistol. This is a 308, a rifle caliber single shot pistol. And I can put a regular scope on it. And it's got a variable zoom. Use this one quite a bit on um, black bears. Um, but I love this rifle. Um, I can put on the short range scope. Then we'll change that out for. Would you stop there? Oh, I am not close enough to the frickin' tent. Um, there we go. The 300 was good. When it comes to bows, I've got a crossbow and I've got a two compound bows. I've got a recurve bow. Um, I've got a combat shotgun that I got from Primal. The Lee Enfield rifle. Now I can take the Parker Python, my arrows, and I can put on a range finding. Oh yeah, I've already. When you first create the game, you can set up your character's appearance. So I've got mine set up, and I've also put on for clothing. And I got my cowboy clothing, and I got to have my premium Hulk Hogan mustache. So I got the Beefalo Bart stash. Actually, I've got a goatee now, but uh, pistoles. Let's go back to the 454. And you can put a scope on the pistols as well. Uh oh, I heard you. Male moose. Crouch. And I see you're right there in the water. This bow here, you gotta be close, but when you draw it, you've got a laser rangefinder that will automatically light up the pins on your um, your bow. To know which ones to actually, um, to, which one to aim with. 
that moose is a little bit farther out so I'm gonna go with the long range scope on my 9.3 drop in the prone position you are absolutely terrible that is a pathetic rack absolutely pathetic and that was a heart shot heart lung shot aiming low on the shoulder like that it's gonna allow me to get um, at minimum both lungs Go ahead and reload. And since maybe something close, we're going to take the scope off the revolver just in case anything dangerous comes up. I got some protection. <laughs> Padme Star Wars pistol. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sprint. Yeah, I recommend not sprinting whenever possible. See, I can't go right there because that's deep water. And I'll, I won't, I, it won't let me go into it. Um, to kind of showcase the shooting stuff a little bit on knowing... Like, with this, you got to know where to shoot. And I didn't get my damn binoculars. I didn't finish setting up my equipment yet. I gotta have my binocs. Yeah, the water looks actually pretty good, doesn't it? You can see through the water, you can see the rocks underwater. Um, you can see how the water sits against there. And you can see as you're moving through the water, it leaves a little trail. Not a great looking water trail, but you know, whatever, it's nice. The water color and texture looks good. And it's not always crystal clear like this. On other maps, it might have a light brown tint to it. So the water looks pretty good, and you think in some of the maps, if you can see something, you can go to it. Got too deep right there. That's a pathetic little rack. You are a worthless moose. You don't deserve to be. Well, you're dead anyway. But um, yeah, you know, right long, heart left lung. That was a perfect shot. It dropped right where it stood, but because its horns were so pathetic, I only got 23 bucks out of it. And no, I'm not going to taxidermy your weak ass. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go to my map, and I can go back over here and I can fast travel. So I can click on this and fast travel to here. But if I want to go from here to a tent, I have to use camping supplies or, or to travel. Um, the benefit of some of these... Uh, what in the hell? Dough. Um, Dough! There's a doe. The Archery Addiction Shooting Range is at this particular lodge. Um, whenever it gets to... So that you don't play at nighttime, whenever it gets to a certain time, you can see on my, my hunter mate, my little GPS tracker thingy here, um, it tells me how far that I've walked, 1,310 meters, um, and it has a time. Once you get to a certain time of day, like... Uh, six o'clock or at seven o'clock in the afternoon when it gets to that point then it will automatically um, end the hunt and restart you in the next morning at 5 a.m. so there there is no nighttime that's where I thought so Time I come out here I see these these are targets that look like the animals you're gonna hunt hello anybody home oh, I'm sorry um, yeah, it's got a grin and bear it Oh dear. I'm just about done with those bad jokes, I promise. They're like dad jokes, man. Well these are the actual targets. They're painted up and they're they, they look like targets. Yeah, that would be cool. Um a night vision hog hunt would be awesome. So other than these looking cool, um you can see they got like spikes coming out of their feet, because they're targets. These aren't supposed to look like the regular animals that walk around. You're supposed to, to look like their targets. For some reason, the bear is not working anymore. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. Let's actually change. And we'll leave what we got for now. Um, come on, resume. Resume game. Thank you. Now, I can't shoot right here, because if I do, I'll lose bullets. But if you're on one of these platforms... Watch it. Give me a there. Entering archery addictions range. 
even get some fancy music. So if I shoot the bear, the bear is broken. Um, grizzlies are a lot bigger. These are um, black bears on this map. But you got brown bears, grizzly bears, polar bears. 14 meters. Um, Rain Trider's not even working on them correctly. You see the, the, the pin is lit up for red. Let's me know that I need to aim with that one. I can hit space bar to, to hold, but I've been holding the bow up for too long. So now my arm's tired and I have to lower the bow. Bring it back up again. Space bar. Shot in the bottom right. Right lung, heart, left lung. So I shoot the deer and it's working just fine. Take my revolver. Right lung, heart, left lung. But I shoot the bear. Body. Ass. Nope. It just says Oh, intestine hip bone. Oh finally it tells me something. Yeah. There's a and there's a bunch of different bows that are available too. I'm just showing you what I, I actually have. There's a lot more weapons than, than what I have. So the bear is kind of glitchy, but shooting the other animals, like, um... Lung shot. Liver, stomach. So I'm just kind of shooting a couple different locations so you can see that, um... Intestines. Hip bone intestines. So, <coughs> it's telling me in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen what I'm hitting. Skull, brain. Um, this should be heart. Ooh, right lung, left lung, liver. Moose, the heart is a little bit low. And it shouldn't be there. It should be right there. Getting lungs, but I'm not getting the heart. Yeah, it's farther forward for some reason on the moose. So I can actually change out to um, all of my different weapons that I have here on the range. So I got crossbow. You get a scope with the crossbow as well. Um, pistols. I got a 22 pistol. But dump these things back into my backpack. Don't need the extras there. And I'm putting this in right now before I think forget about it again. I have to have that guy. I got dogs. I've got um, the bloodhound, and I've got the um... yeah. You do have a weight limitation in this game, so uh, you can't just carry 500 different things. Now my crossbow cocked. I can actually drop down to the prone position. It's going to be my most supported position. It's going to give me the best accuracy overall. And then I hold the space bar. locks it in. But to reload, it automatically puts me back on my knees. Because you can't cock a crossbow in a prone position. Now I can go back into prone again. And shoot away. It automatically raises me back up. And there you go. On the inventory, if you look in the inventory, well, let's, let's look at the other weapons real quick. Um, ow, I didn't change my compound bow. And 22 pistol is not going to be acceptable for anything on this map. So it's going to report back his body because it's not actually doing enough damage to penetrate. Technically it would in real life, but... Kind of cool. This kind of reminds me of a hybrid between the Browning Buckmark and the, uh, the new Smith & Wesson Victory. When you look at your inventory, you notice it's um, 000 of 20.00 unequipped items. Same thing for equipment. It's going to show you that. Um, vehicles, and grab my Jeep, large equipment. If I try to carry that also, you can see my weight capacity just went up. But if I get rid of that, it just went back down again. I want my deer grunt call, I want number six, I want my hog squealer, I want my moose collar, and 
my elk boogler. Grab my scent hound. See, I'm at 55%. My weapons here. Let's go back to. Um, there is corn. Um, essentially. Besides the fact that there's farms where you can walk through, and there is that. But you got um, bear bait and hog bait, which is pretty much corn. You buy to fill into your your bait um, units. So go back to you. Go back to you. We're gonna put the long scope on. Change the bow out for. I don't know. Well, we'll leave that bow in. We'll change this pistol out for the 1911. And a red dot scope. We're all set on equipment. We're at 68 percent. Yeah, birds. You got pheasants. You got turkeys. Uh, ptarmigan. Um, so I could change this out for shotgun with bird shot. And I'll go ahead and put my scope on because I like it. Uh, yeah, the. Birds, like I said, you've got ptarmigan, turkey, a couple different types of ptarmigan. Um, you got, uh, see, that's my scent hound. Now, if I try to shoot my dog in the back of the head, it'll automatically lower my weapon. Multiplayer, if there's another player standing there and I point my weapon at him and I try to pull the trigger, it automatically retracts my weapon and prevents me from shooting a friendly. So it's an anti-friendly fire feature. No, but somebody suggested that uh, there be penguins. So I could go on to like Logger's Point and go kill pheasant, or I can go on to another map and kill turkeys or um, duck. Yeah, prime example. Um, give me a second to change maps over. I actually have to exit the game and then relaunch. Um, so give me just a second here. You're going to see everything go black for just a minute. Um, I actually have... Um, I don't care about my hunt statistics. I am going to... Quick show, this is the, the desktop. So, the store, really quickly while I'm, I'm here. You got all kind of different bundles, like your Jeep bundle. You get three different Jeeps in one pack. Um, target markers, field deployable target stands, different kinds of clothing... Uh, in bundles. Um, Call of the Wild has lions. The other version, of the, one of the other versions of this game. We've been trying to get them to do that, um, but we haven't got lions. And uh, we do have bobcats and um, lynx and things like that. Um, of course, like coyotes and wolves and foxes. But still trying to talk them into doing um, the lions and doing a full safari here. We already got water buffalo, so why don't we get cape buffalo? I mean, come on. Not that much of a stretch. Different kind of horns, but they kind of look more like a bentang set of horns, almost. Um, I've already got the goose stuff set up. So what I can do here is... Um, you can see all the different bundles of things you can buy. A weapons bundle, or um, poses for when you take a trophy shot. Um, decoys. Um... You know, all kind of different bundles you can choose from. Uh, weapons. This is the, the list of rifles. I'm not going to name them all, but as you can see, like even in, on the, this right here, the 405 lever action rifle, there's three versions of that gun in different levels. 243, there might be five of those. Um, the 9.3 by 74R, there's three of them. 7 by 64, 30R. Um, there's another 405, 6.5 by 55, 17 HMR, uh, another AR-15, 7mm Magnum bullpup, uh, several different 30 out 6 lever actions, uh, 03 Springfield World War II um, American rifle, Buffalo rifle, 22 rifle, Mosin Nagant, 4570 brush, brush rifle, lever action. So yeah, there's a large list. Here's my my 22 caliber air gun. Uh, plenty of different weapons, and that's just the rifles. 
handguns. Here's a few handguns. Um, shotguns. 10 gauge. 16 gauge. I love 16 gauge, by the way. Um, I still need to get one of these. The 20 gauge semi-automatic. Those things are gangbuster for, um, for ducks. Yeah, all these different shotguns. Got these are the list of bows and crossbows. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you can't find something you like shooting in this game, then you got a problem. Well, muzzle loaders, you got inline and traditional cap lock. You got a muzzle loading inline pistol. The advanced firearms, I've got this one. When you lay in the prone position on flat ground, bipod legs automatically fold out and it makes it more stable to shoot for long range. Then you got drillings. If you're not familiar with a drilling um, rifle, essentially, this is a double barreled 16 gauge shotgun. But it also has a 9.3 by 74R rifle as well. So you got two shotgun barrels, and then directly underneath that in the center is a rifle barrel. And yeah, this gun will kill everything but werewolves. Is that the only thing you can kill the werewolves with is a special pistol or a crossbow pistol? But you've got all those different weapons to work with. Um, sin, I'm not familiar with that. There's all your ammo, um, scopes, <laughs> a bunch of scopes. Um, dogs, you got retrievers. You you can get whatever color you want. You can get um, backpacks for your dog. Uh, I've got a GPS tracker on my dogs. Um, dog treats. So when they do good, you can give them a treat. Got a scent hound. I've got one of those. And I don't have the German pointer yet. That's going to be the next poochie dog for me. Collars and scents and bait. Hog bait. Mineral block. Like salt blocks. Sweet corn for bear. Decoys. Electronic collars for predators. And yeah. The clothing. Oh my god, the clothing. You don't want to look like a you know traditional um, native Alaskan or whatever Eskimo. You want the Outback Safari you know, clothing? I have. I I need to buy that set. Um. Yeah. There's. Hmm. That I'm not familiar with, but uh, like the drillings is a double barrel shotgun with a rifle on the bottom as well upgrades so you want to get all the upgrades as soon as possible um, they're expensive but they're worth it all the small equipment pouches increased capacity um, the small weapon holster for carrying a pistol um, you can reset all your missions for 800 EM um, avatars if you want to be her instead of the guys or whatever you can choose her when you're creating your avatar. There's different kind of binoculars and apps. The Hunter Mate. You can play Lane Bandit, which is like a little um, video game. And um, Bust Through. It's like a early, not Pong, but um, block breaking game. I don't know what you call those. But uh, you can play games on your Hunter Mate while you're out in the field. If you get bored. Um, face Paint. <laughs> Water Bottles. Um, camping supplies, scent eliminators, um, first aid kits, which you need to make sure you have, uh, wind indicators, um, flags and stands and towers and tripods and shooting rest. Um, yeah. Large two-person tripod, um, two-person tree stands, ground blinds, Waterfall blinds, um, yeah, tree climbers, tents, bait sites, even more. Mustaches. Yeah, not quite any mini guns yet. Got the Magnum PI mustache, but you know, I had to have the uh, the Beefalo Bart stash or the Hulk stash. I used to sport one of them mustaches, by the way. Halloween. You can get the hockey mask, 
the 308 Wolfsbane handgun and 308 silver bullets for the werewolf, or the crossbow pistol with um, mythical silver crossbow bolts. T-shirt and face paint. Not, yeah, to kill the werewolf, you have to have this pistol with those bullets, or this crossbow with those bolts. Other than that, you can't kill them at all. And you can't use um, these 308 silver bullets and any other 308 gun. So my 308 single shot pistol won't use those bullets. I don't know why. There must be special. But football. You want a football jersey for your country? There you go. So there's so many different um, things to get in here. Um, we are actually going to go and do really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to single player. And with a multiplayer, up to eight people can hunt on the same thing at the same time. So I can scroll around and do, 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 do. This is kind of like a Australian outback themed area. Um, this is kind of a jungle environment. That's where I was at earlier. Um, this is one we're going to go to right now. And I'm going to go right here, which is kind of close by. And that's where I've got my decoys and stuff set up for Goose. So I'm going to go ahead and start to hunt. I'm going to actually have to switch back over. You're going to see a black screen for a minute. So bear with the, uh, the black screen. I had to change scenes this way. Because hitting the keys back and forth was too complicated for me. And because I'm not using Windows 10, I can't use uh, Elgato um, uh, gaming game deck or stream deck. So I can't use one of those because I'm not using Windows 10. I like to use Toby Eye Tracker. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Doesn't work for anything above a certain size monitor. Yeah, man. I was going to show you the uh, the goose hunting area that I've got set up. I'll drive over there in a Jeep to, to make it faster. And i got to have my retriever, so... It's funny as I... What I'll do is I'll probably, whenever you get out of here, I'll probably stop the video, take a break for a little bit, and keep hunting on this map and, and kill some some boids, some geese. And um, what I've done is I'll get up, I'll go get something to drink, I'll have a smoke or whatever else. And um, I just got to change dogs real quick. Weapons, nope, equipment, dogs, I want that. So I've got my doggy treats. And I'll go away. I want you instead, and I want my dog treats. All right, so that I'm not. There's my my retriever. Hit J. Deploy my Jeep. Premium item, by the way. My first Jeep Wrangler was pretty much the same color. Headlights don't work for some reason. Well, it is a Jeep. Just empty every pocket. And it's awful damn quiet. Of course, they all can't be like my, uh... I got that Grand Cherokee out there. and Of course, I got a 1960 Willys as well, but... I got that Grand Cherokee with a 5.9 liter engine. And, uh, all-wheel drive. I cranked that up, it sounds like a damn race car. People see it as like some soccer mom mobile. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Rodier, or Mrs. Rodier. See, nice roads, open fields. It's kind of like the English countryside, I would imagine. And, um, wind farms. Hey, look, there was a deer. Hopping like a mofo. I'm going to just leave it parked right there. A dog just went into the frickin' ground. But, um, press the uh, Q key, by the way, for those who don't know. You press the Q key, and it's auto-walk. You can take your hands off, and it'll just keep walking. And just press the uh, forward key again. Did you just stop over there? That's uh, a decoy. I got decoys set up here, and I got the waterfowl 
or foul blind. So when I'm in here, I am next to invisible. Actually, we'll have um, deer and stuff like that will walk up to the tent. A little blind here. And my doggy, Viki, um, get in the blind. Yeah, there's deer tracks right there next to my stand. So the dog will sit right here, and um, for too much longer, I don't have my goose collars anyway, so I can't really hunt goose right now, but um, as the geese come flying over, you can call them in with your geese you know, calls, geesey calls, or goose calls, whatever, and um, you can call them in, you'll tell whenever they're ready to be shot, other than the ones just flying over. Um, you can only shoot them at a certain elevation, so to speak. They'll see the decoys and they'll try to land and you can just sit there and blast away. And then whenever you shoot one, they fall down. You can just tell your retriever to go out and get them. Dog will, you know, you shoot them. The dog will bring them back and he will come to right there and drop the bird right in front of your feet. So that's really cool. And I don't have my goose collars, so it's kind of pointless to be here to, to goose hunt. So I go back to camp and get them. If you don't know where you parked, you can always hit the J key for your Jeep again and look at your vehicle. <laughs> so I'll drive back to camp and get my stuff. Not bad for off-roading a little bit, but as you can see, it's not, not perfect. It drives off-road like a stock Jeep does. <laughs> stock Jeep, Jeep Wrangler with worn-out ass springs like mine whenever I first got it. The 93 Jeep YJ. Had no flex, no articulation to it whatsoever. It was not the best thing off-road. And this is not the way to go. Wrong road. notice in the bottom right hand corner my fuel is going down as well went from 100 I'm already at 95 fuel is extra now that um, this is free to play you got to pay for your gas if you run out of gas well you just pick it up and which is kind of cheaty a little bit so I can load cargo like oh load extra guns and ammo and stuff like that into my Jeep and then once I get over here to the um so I'm probably just going to go ahead and quit the game though um, get back to wherever you want to go, get out, and go to your inventory, and now you can actually see vehicle. You can actually have stuff stored here, and you can transfer it back and forth between your person and the Jeep, and then load up your Jeep with extra guns, ammo, dog treats, stands whatever you want and then tow vehicle which basically lets you pick it back up go to your hunter's mate and you just put your jeep in your pocket when you get back to a road somewhere you press j again and deploy your jeep so it's kind of cheaty all right we'll get out of here the first part of this video was dedicated towards um tips and tricks and being a newbie and not getting carried away Kind of prove the point that you can take that starter shotgun, and I killed two bears uh, with the starter shotgun using slugs. Of course, one of them made me poop slightly, and I thought it was going to kill me. And the second one got a little agitated that I was getting close, but I didn't die, and I killed two bear, one shot per bear, one shot, they dropped right there in their tracks, no problem. So... Anything is possible. Pick your game, plan accordingly, and build upon that. Have any questions? You guys can check out my Discord channel and take on a private hunt, you know, multiplayer wise. Um, multiplayers, we can do whatever you want hunt wise. I can kill everything and go everywhere. So, we'll help you get geared up, finish out missions, whatever else, and. The more missions you knock out, the higher the GM you get from that. And let's go ahead and exit game. And you can use that GM 
in order to um, go to the store. You can buy EM, which is the prime uh, premium currency. Which okay, this is going to cost me 570 EM to buy this set. But say you wanted to buy that 9.3 by 74R. Scroll down. This one right here is only 600 EM. But you can't quite swing paying real money right now. So complete missions, earn GM, kill critters, and then buy your 9.3 by 74R and kill everything, pretty much. Um, if you prefer to go handgun hunting, there's a handgun for everything. Well, what about birds? Well, you can use a 357 Magnum on fox, um, bobcats, coyote. Can't use it on rabbits, but you can use it on kitty cats and doggies. You can use 357 Magnum on turkey. <laughs> But what about other birdies if you want to hunt handgun only? 22 pistol, um, you can shoot ducks, geese, rabbits, rabbit, duck, 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 goose, duck, duck, pheasant, ptarmigan, rabbit, turkey, ptarmigan, and ptarmigan. So you can shoot birds. In the air or flying, you know, or on the ground, you can shoot them with the 22 pistol. And you can see there's four different scope options for for that. So there's a pistol to cover everything. You want to kill um, water buffalo? I use El Bisonte or El Toro. Uh, the 454 revolver. You can kill Bantang and not water, uh, not werewolves, uh, but you can kill water buffaloes. You can kill the two largest animals in the game with that revolver. So there's a pistol for everything, shotgun for everything, bows and crossbows, doesn't matter which one you get. Look at this, green all the way down, except for werewolves. So a bow and a crossbow can be used on everything, every bird, every Deer, every bear, every, every 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 everything can be killed with like the compound bows, crossbows. Not so much the crossbow pistol because that's a little on the weak side, but you know the compound bows, the crossbows, things like that will kill everything. Um, you'll probably need to get the snake bite because it's needed for certain missions. But as you can see everything down the line. I've got a mission i got to complete where I have to use this bow to kill three pigs. So, that's what I should be doing. Well, actually, it's 2.40 in the morning. Should be in bed. But, um, muzzle loaders. The only downfall to the muzzle loaders is selecting between the ammo. If you want to go after water buffalo and bantang, um, you have to use the um, conical bullets, but the lighter sabo bullets is what you'd use on certain other things like sheep. You can't use the conicals for that. You have to use this one. So that's kind of a meh kind of deal. Uh, whereas the cap lock, it can't kill as much overall, but there's a lot of things that it can do. Um, a lot of species, but not the water buffalo. And of course, no rabbits, no birds, uh, no kitty cats. Mm, you know, a bobcat. It's really, you, you have to learn what you can and cannot shoot with each of the weapons. Um, because I'm considering going with this one here also. But it's got two different kinds of bullets. And that kind of bums me out. I, don't know, I still kind of want that. I gotta quit being a nerd. The drilling combination gun. I don't know. All right, guys and gals, if you like the game and you want to learn more about it, you want to play it, come on by my Discord channel. Ask whatever questions you got for it. Use the the General Mayhem channel. Um, I'll be changing 
or one of my channels over, probably the Blue Harvest channel, I'll change it over to uh, The Hunter. Um, and it'll be a dedicated channel just for talking about Hunter stuff. We can hunt together, we can do whatever. Alright guys and gals, I'm getting out of here. Peace, we'll see you around.